Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Mile High Collector here. Today I wanted to uh, take a few minutes to kind of walk through an overall rating of all of the formats for 2024 Top Series 1 and kind of rank them in order of my personal experience in terms of which format I think is the best, which I think has the most value per dollar, uh, and kind of rate those overall. So in front of us here, we've got five of the eight uh, formats that I've opened. The three that aren't represented here are Jumbo Box, the Hobby Box, and the Super Box. Now, I've, I have a video up on the channel where I opened a Super Box, so if you're interested in that, you can check that video out on the channel. Um, I opened another one off camera, um, so two of those total. I opened, I think, one or two Hobby Boxes in total, and then I opened one Jumbo Box as well. So, um, here we've got from, from right to left the uh, Blister Pack, which this, this one happens to be the Meyer Exclusive, the Fat Pack, the Mega Box, the Retail Blaster Box, and then the Hanger Box. So I'm going to start kind of from lowest to best in terms of my rankings, in terms of enjoyment of the, the product type this year and the value, and then we'll open these along as, as we go away. Like I said, I think I have all of them here except for those three, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. So uh, number eight, in terms of what I thought was the least fun rip, the least uh, value for the money, was the Hobby Box. I opened one of those um, right around release day. I just, there wasn't a ton there. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't remember exactly what it was, but nothing notable maybe a numbered card, maybe a couple foil parallels. Um, I think there was a relic uh, in mine. I didn't even get an autograph. So just for the price point, there just wasn't a lot to it. I found a lot more value in some of these other um, formats. So I would say at number eight, uh, I would say the Hobby Box was probably my my least favorite in terms of fun rip and value for, for, um, for Series 1. Number seven is the Blister. I've opened a few of these on the channel and over on Instagram. So we'll open again. Again, these are Meyer exclusives that come with one purple parallel card inside. Um, one retail pack. I, 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 I've done pretty well in these. I think the Adley um, autograph that I hit that I've got featured on my um, Instagram was, I think it was from a Meyer pack. If not, it was from a Hanger pack. But these, you know, there's there's some value in these purple cards. And there's been a couple of, I think the one team SSP um, that I got came out of a one of these packs. So we'll start with the purple card. There's Brady Singer. So again, those look really cool if you get the right rookie, the right, uh, you know, um, star vet, uh, or even just, you know, people looking to complete a rainbow. Um, there's a little bit of value in those purple, so I, I, I really like those. You're looking at our one pack um, that comes with each blister. Again, there's a couple of inserts in here, so let's see if we get anything notable. Charlie Morton, Dames, uh, Joey. There's a Trey Cabbage rookie. Dane Dunning. Kyle Bradish. Joe Ryan, we got a backwards car here to seven ninety nine. Christopher Morel, see, and that's that's what I'm talking about. This is a this is a card that that will will definitely have resale value. So uh, it's his future stars card. He's a popular. He was a rookie last year for the Cubs, which is a, a team that a lot of people collect. So out of seven ninety nine, so that purple foil there um, is a, is a nice hit out of these packs. We've got a, a stars chrome um, rookie um, Tyler Soderstrom for for the A's. So again, that's not a a terrible get. We've got another backwards card, so it's just probably going to be the foil parallel. Another rookie, Grant Hartwig. So again, I just think there's there's some value in these. Um, again, you have to get the right pack, and not every pack carries carries a lot of um, a lot of big hits in it. But you know, you can get a couple rookies, a couple parallels, um, the foil, the purple, um, and there's some value in there. So that was uh, at number seven. Those blister packs from again for me, it's from Meyer, but. I don't know if, if Walmart has a version or not. So that was that that was number seven on my list. Number six on my list is the Fat Pack. So again, I've opened a few of these. Um, I think I may have opened a couple on the channel. Uh, comes with thirty six cards, um, and I think this has the the the, the, the hanger has the yellow exclusive. So I don't think there's any anything exclusive to this. Oh, the Royal Blue Base Card Parallel. So those aren't. I don't think those are exclusive here, um, but those those are um, included in the pack. So this was was. Again, towards the bottom of the list, I think just the sheer number of cards you get, I'm going to pull these to the front here, um, makes these makes these interesting. Um, but again, we'll go through there, see if there's anything notable. Royce Lewis, Astros card, Teo, David Hamilton rookie, Mike Trout, Valdez, Tyler O'Neill, rookie, Christian Walker, Jazz, Alex, Goldschmidt, Rookie for the Rockies, Coco Montez, Braddish, Joe Ryan, Jimmy Jansen, 
Dodgers card, Elder. So Weimer, Willie Castro, Patrick Bailey, Rafella for the rookie for the Red Sox. Okay, coming up on our hits here. Grayson Rodriguez, Josh Naylor. There's one of the um, Ken Griffey Celebration of the Kid inserts. Um, have collected a lot of these. I don't know if I have enough for this set yet. I'll have to check that out. But those, you know, kind of a cool little insert set. We've got another, oh wow, same same Topps Chrome of Sorterstrom. So we'll get a Chrome version of that card. This is the uh, uh, star, um, Superstar uh, Blueprint, which I think these are these are a great insert. This one of J-Rod. Um, again, I, I pulled the Adley autograph version of this, which is probably my biggest hit out of the product this year, but I like those. Um, and then we've got a couple of stars of MLB, Jazz and Corey Seager. And then Finch and Senzel and Yastrzemski. So again, um, a lot of cards, good for set builders. You get a couple of parallels, got a shot at, you know, some different things in there. So, so overall, I think um, those fat packs were number six. Number five for me um, was probably the Super Box. Again, if you've seen me open that on the channel, packaging is cool. The enamel pin is great. The, the, the companion cards that actually come with it carry some value. I think the Mookie I pulled out of the box I opened on the channel, I sold for, I think, $10 on eBay. And I have a Shohei um, Otani companion card, uh, which is essentially, I mean, it's not really an image variation, but I guess it kind of is. It's only apparently exclusive to those boxes. So I have the Shohei listed for, you know, I think $19.99 right now. I'm sure, I'll, you know, I'll take a, an offer for that one. But there is some value to be had in there. You can get some parallels. You open a lot of packs. You have to wrestle with that glue, which is no fun. Um, and if you recall, uh, those of who watched the video, the glue is so, so strong. I didn't even try to rip the packs apart. I still have this thing because I thought it was hilarious. But those those packs, you know, you're dealing with the glue on the super box, so uh, rip at your own risk. But you know, overall, for forty bucks, super box, not a ton of value in there. Um, it, it is kind of fun to rip it just because it's a it's a it's a format that's different than all of these. But I'd say the super box comes in at number five for me. Number four is the mega. So again, this is kind of the chunkiest boy other than uh, than the jumbo box. Um, and this you can get the eighty nine tops baseball foil board card. So those are kind of cool. Uh, and again, if you get the right rookie um, or vet. There's some uh, probably some value there. This is a, again a lot of cards, uh, but at fifty dollars, it doesn't you know at least the ones that I've opened didn't carry a, a, all that value back. And so you know again this was I think only the second or third one of these I've opened. But I mean just a, a an absurd number of packs in here. So like looking there that empty box that's a, a mountain of packs. So we're gonna try to go through these kind of quick. Um, just so we're not here all day, but you can see you get a lot of a lot of packs out of here, and then we'll be looking for our foil board. I think there's four or five um, total in the box. So I'm going to go through these kind of quickly. Um, I'll check the backs later. Jared, Julio, rookie, sort of from rookie, first backwards card. It's a, ro a rainbow foil. Andy Ibanez, our stars of MLB. Nothing super exciting there. So yeah, I'm curious if you guys comment below. Let me know. Uh, what's been your favorite Series 1 format that you've opened? Have you have you ripped a ton of stuff? I've ripped quite a bit, probably a little less than I did Series 1 um, J-Rod's year, but um, right around there. And I've liked, you know, got a ton of Ellie's, ton of Evan Carter's, ton of Henry. I mean, a lot of, a lot of the rookies I've got, whether I'm going to collect them or not, I'm not sure. We'll see how they, how they, they start off the season. So here's our first um, mega exclusive 89 foil board. This one, Christian Yellick. So those are, you know, Pretty cool cards. They they look great. Um, some of them hold some value, but again, so that's what your your kind of exclusive parallel is for the uh, Mega Box. Oh, Hoppy, there. So those you know, there's those are could be collectible if you get again. I, I'd love to hit an Ellie. Um, I've got the Ellie Mojo back there. That was the the one I think out of the Jumbo Box. Um, those Mojo packs. That's kind of again why why those are so great. But um, we'll get to that. I'm gonna Davis Schneider rookie. Smith Shaver. I've heard he's going to be really good. Got to watch out for him. Another Tops, Chrome, Aaron Judge, stars the MLB, Superstar Blueprint, Pete Alonzo. Great insert. Tatis. There's the Elite of the Game card. That in a any parallel sells pretty well, so there's some value on that card. And finish the Rowdy. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious what other people think about this. Um, I've really enjoyed Series 1. I'm, I, I think I'm all done with it after this rip, um, but have really enjoyed opening it. i um, looking forward to what Series 2 will hold um, and some of the guys who made the opening day rosters. I think they're in Series 2. Some they may hold for Series 3 or even 
uh, or update or even um, Series 1 next year. So 1989, insert, stars, rookie. Let's see if we can get another one of those foil boards here. This is again another. If you're if you're a set builder or want to build multiple sets, uh, this and the jumbo are probably the best way to go. Got our first blue parallel, Michael Harris the second. So that card probably sells for a couple bucks. I think I've sold a couple of those. We've got an Adley Stars. We've all agreed. I think this is the best um, card art in this year's uh, series one, or at least right up there. So I got. A, I think I have a couple of the parallels of that up for sale on eBay for anyone who's chasing that rainbow. That Reds card is great. Any parallel that probably holds some value. Ken Zone, I'm collecting him. I think he's right there's that uh, Rookie Cup year uh, card for Corbin Carroll, which is great. Our next um, foil silver foil board parallel is Anthony Rizzo. Alonzo, Smod Taylor rookie, that gallon. Still in our first first stack of packs here. So again, this is what this is the upside to the mega. If you if you want a lot of cards. This is a quick way to get it. You're paying 50 bucks, but um, it gets you a lot of cards. First home run challenge. I got a lot of these on there. This one's in Orlando Arenado. I think I have one of his already. One of the um, uh, all tops team uh, inserts. Felix Batista. Got a Shohei. Stars of MLB. Matt Waldron. Don't know if any of you guys up there play MLB The Show 24, but apparently he is... He is the cheese player this year. I haven't had a chance to use him yet, but I've read that his knuckleballing on on that game is a little OP. So for what it's worth, if we have any folks out there who play the show. All right, next pack here, we got a Aaron Judge, 1989, Bobby Witt. Okay, our last stack of packs here from the Mega. Appreciate you checking this video out. I know we've done quite a bit of Tops 1 on this channel. This will probably be, again, like I said, the last uh, last rip of it, unless I find something unique. Uh, Williams, rookie. We can see you'll get, you know, a lot of, a good way towards a complete set here um, out of a out of a Mega. There's a, a Kodai Senga rookie cup card. And then you get, obviously, the, um, the foil board. 1989s as well, so those are kind of There's a Jason Dominguez. I've actually slowed down on his cards. I saw a lot of them when I first started ripping this stuff, but I feel like I've gotten way more LAs than Dominguez. Oh, here we go. I don't think I pulled this. This is a 2024 Mega Stars out of 99. Ronald Acuna Jr. That's beautiful. So that's the first time I've seen this card or this insert all year. So I mean, there you go. Maybe maybe Mega is making a case. Um, for being the better format so let's go ahead and get that sleeved up but that's a a cool insert numbered insert um and again of, of a of a card i haven't seen um or haven't pulled myself so far yet so I'm sure there's probably some value on this uh, especially with uh you know he's being one of the bigger stars in lb so anyway that's great we'll put that up there that's our first real hit i would say so that's a cool card and then right behind that was Willie Mays on the foil board. Riley Green. Finishing that up. So don't expect to get anything else real notable out here, but I'll take, a, you know, that, that number to 99 card. That one will be available on eBay here the next couple days probably. So there's our Carson Young Strand rookie. Had a pretty good spring. Got a backwards card here. Looks probably just like a foil. Yep. Uh, rookie Luis Matos at Rainbow Foil. Another Grand Gamers. Again, I think this insert design is just really subpar. It does nothing for me. So I'm not sure if you guys agree with that or not, but the that insert just doesn't doesn't get me very excited. So I, had, I think I pulled one number of those, a Tom Seaver. Um, and other than that, it's just been a few of those here and there. None of the, I haven't pulled any of the heavy, heavy lumber um, inserts. That's the one I'd still like to see. Ariano Rookie. Oh, here we go. Two hits. So we also got a uh, player-worn Jordan Walker relic. So that's great. So again, I, I mean, listen, this mega is really forcing me maybe to to reconsider um, the rankings. I'll tell you, I think, when we get to the other formats, kind of why I ranked it the way I did. But I would say that if uh, uh, 
save that for a larger top loader just to make sure. But if I add more um, hits like this, this this could be a, a little bit higher up. So move Ronald over there. Consider this our second hit. So a Jordan Walker, um, 1989 insert. Not bad. That's Conseco right behind him. And finishing that pack, Brendan Rogers. So yeah, I mean this feels this pack feels chunky too. I don't know if there's anything in here, but I feel like it might be a little thicker. Maybe it's just a a chrome card, so I'll go through here kind of quick. Massey. Spencer Horowitz rookie. Manning. Yep, it is. Another look at this. We got three of these. Anyone want to collect this guy? Got three tops chromes uh in um parallels of Tyler in this rip so far. All right, three more packs here to go. But yeah, so far, Mega, at least for this specific rip, is well in the lead in terms of hits and value. There's Andrew Abbott, Rookie Cup. There's a Vladdy foil board. Pretty cool. Mookie. Renato. Justin Jerry Kelly. Second to last pack. Go through these pretty quick. Thank you for sticking with me. I know this is a little bit longer one. Looks like we have a blue here. Um, so color match. Freddie Peralta for the Brewers. So again, those get the right collector and those have a little value. Got uh, 2023 greatest hits. Sal Freilich, rookie. I haven't seen a numbered one of those. And then the stars will be Corbett Carroll. So Dane Myers, okay. And then our last pack from the Mega Box. Let's see if we can finish off with anything else of note. Already been a pretty successful, probably the most successful Mega I've opened. Well, definitely the most successful Mega I've opened so far this year. That's a good one. No one, Chanel, rookie, 1989. Uh, J-Rod. Right, Mount Castle and Cal Finnegan. So, so yeah, overall, at least for this rip, with those two hits, this is by far um, probably the best box we've ripped so far. But anyway, that on my list, just for the whole year's worth of rips so far, whole series worth of rips, I had the Megas at number four. Um, number three uh, is the Blaster, the Retail Blasters. Now, again, this is this probably won't be a super popular opinion, but I I really like these holiday card variations. They that you get, I think three or four, maybe five. Per per re, per um, blaster, and, and I've had a lot of luck reselling them. And so there's some obviously you get a ton of the the base that come in every other pack, but I've hit I've hit several of the eggs variations, a couple of the rabbits, and then one of the flowers um, that that are just I think they're really cool. And I think even the base holiday foils look nice. They're way better than I think what was it the Halloween um, the Halloween uh, foils that were in the um, update series of 2023 and so i've just i've just really enjoyed these i'm still hoping to hit a big you know ellie or evan carter i've got a couple evan carters on the, the holiday foil but hopefully getting a shorter print of one of those would be great that's the last kind of thing you know if i had a wish list that i'm looking for here um but anyway i've really enjoyed the blasters there's a home run challenge or alvarez so i've i've opened in several of these um, especially when they've been on sale at some of the local places here lately where you get buy one, get 40% off, something like that, um, has been nice to rip. And I just, like I said, just really enjoy these. So here's a Freddie Freeman. That's the holiday base, which I, I just, they're, they're good looking cards. So again, I don't know long-term collectability, but if someone's building a rainbow or has a favorite player, the, you know, these are definitely, um, parallels I'd like to have in my collection for some of the, the players at IPC. So, um, anyway, go through here. Still haven't had an Ellie this whole rip. Here's another Grand Gamers. And Alec Marsh. Got three or four packs to go here. See if we can get anything of note. Bailey. Don't cease. Got a Tops Chrome Stars of MLB. Henry Davis. There's an Ellie Stars. Got a lot of those. And Joey Votto. So I know this is a long video coming up on the end. I appreciate you hanging in there. So there's a Mickey Maniac, again, the holiday foil base. There's Nevin Carter, one of the top rookies. Michael Harris. I love that card. Uh, Ruiz. He's really fun to watch. That's a great card. 
Let's see if we have anything coming up here. I think an 89 Wade Boggs. As far as I know, it'll be. All right, three packs to go. And comment below, let me know um, if you're agreeing with my rankings so far or how you rank um, any of the product that you've opened. Just curious to see um, what other people think about um, which format um, has been treated them the best this year. Two packs to go. And here's a Dodgers card. Again, on that base. I mean, that's just, that's pretty. Who, if you're a Dodgers fan, you, 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 you want that card in your collection, right? I mean, nothing super pricey, but, I, you know, I got a Rockies one. I think they look great. Um, Mauricio, rookie. Another Grand Gamers. Sort of, I mean, this dude all over this rip, right? All right, our last blaster pack. Probably the last blaster I'll rip of Pop Series 1, so I hope we go out with a bang. I already got all of our full, our holidays, it looks like, so let's see if there's anything notable here. Rojas. Got a backwards card. It's probably just a rainbow foil. Yep. Tavares. Goldschmidt and Kim on that. Okay, so that's number three. Blaster's number three. My second favorite um, format is the hanger box. Again, these are between $12.99 and $14.99, depending on where you get them. Uh, they are 59 cards. You get an exclusive base yellow parallel. I think you get two out of each one. Um, I just think it's the most bang for your buck. And so you're going to get some good inserts in here. Um, I've got an auto or two that I pulled out of here. Some of the parallels, um, the yellows, again, if you get the right the right player, can hold some value. So overall, I just think for, for bang for your buck of what I have in front of me, this is number two, so you can probably do the math and figure out what number one is. But I just think this is is the most um, the most the product I had the most fun ripping, or the format I had the most fun ripping, and, and in terms of overall value for dollar paid, dollar um, earned back. There's our first Ellie. I, I just think these have been um, the most profitable um, or or valuable um, in the, the formats that I ripped this year. So um, having ripped, I think every single product or, or, or format that tops put out for series one i think I, that's that's where my final rankings lie we'll go through what you can determine as the last one here in a second um but i just think um these are fun okay coming up on our hits here there's colton Kowser, another great rookie so here's a rainbow oh actually see this is the blue oh and this one's numbered i didn't even notice that that's out of 50 right so that's what that's that's exactly what i'm talking about so there's a rookie a rookie card this is the Father's Day parallel, I believe, out of 50. I mean, that's pretty great to come out of a hanger box, right? And so that's where I found, I think, and I, you know, I might go ahead and call that a color match. I know it's not exact, the right type of blue, but this is, this to me is where I've found probably the most, um, like, low numbered, um, serial numbered cards that I've pulled out of this product. So overall, like I said, I just think that it has produced the best results for me personally um, and why I think that's the most value um, that you can get. And still, we still have two of our yellows, uh, Duran, Dane Dunning. We have a Pulhos, 89. And then we've got uh, Altman on the greatest hits. Trout, Jordan Lawler, Harper, Soto on the stars of MLB. And then finish it up with some veteran base. So that leaves us with number one. The overall product I think that I um, either enjoyed the most, got the most value of was the jumbo. I think you get the most cards out of that. You, I think I almost did a complete set out of one jumbo. Um, I think it's two hits plus the mojos that came out of that. And so I think I had a good autograph. Um, I'd have to look back and see exactly the cards. But that's the the format I remember thinking. I enjoyed the most, got the most cards, and and probably had the most value. So anyway, that's my final rankings. Running it back one more time. I know this was a really long video. Hobby, number eight. Number seven, of the blister packs. Number six, fat packs. Number five, the super box. Number four, mega box, which we did well on here today. Number three, the blaster box. Number two, the hanger, which we also had a good hit out of. And then number one, the jumbo. So um, let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment down below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. That'll help me grow the channel. Quick, last look at our hits. Um, appreciate you stopping by. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.